Hello everyone and welcome back. So I haven't even uploaded the first episode yet. Uh, still still kind of working on that. I've had some trouble with my editing software, which I think I've got figured out now. And not only that, it, it seemed a little bit on the boring side, to be honest. Uh, maybe it was just the mood I was in that day. I'm not quite sure. But uh, I'll have to take another look at it. Probably not that bad. Okay, so what what have we done here? So looking at the map, this is Spawn, right here. Uh, that's where we were with Chaotic, that's his little ravine house. Then uh, on my own time, I went over here and started exploring this dungeon a little bit, built some farms around here. And now I've come back down to this chaparral, which, if you don't know, is my favorite biome for some unknown reason. And I, I went ahead and just kind of started marking the caves and building a house here so that it'll be ready whenever I'm ready to head over here. And just to make sure that uh, it's obvious that I have claimed this biome. <laughs> uh, I don't know how most people feel about the chaparral biomes. I mean, I, I guess they could be kind of annoying with all the little shrubs, and I don't remember them being this hilly, to be honest. Maybe that's uh, new, but uh, I, I've always liked this biome for some reason. So I've started building this house here, and I'm going to have it partially embedded in the hillside here. I just thought that would work out pretty well. Might as well use the terrain to my advantage to see if I can come up with something that looks really nice too. I've actually seen actual houses where they are built into the side of a hill and like part of the house is basically underground. It's <laughs> kind of weird being in such a house in real life, but it's kind of cool at the same time. So going for a fairly standard design here, just got the the log beams and going to be using oak wood for everything else. Pretty pretty basic, but it gets the job done, and it looks good, especially if you make the, the oak wood frame one block out from everything else like this. It gives it a little bit of depth. So that's just some something fairly basic. That's a pretty good little technique when you're building. Still trying to get used to the, the dual wielding. There's a lot you can do with it, like having two blocks in one hand. Earlier I was pillaring up and placing a ladder at the same time, basically just alternating between the stone bricks and the ladders because I had them in both hands. Uh, one bad thing, though, is that uh, say I had blocks in this hand with the Silence Gems tools, it'll still place what's after the tool. I'm thinking of changing that so that it will favor your offhand first. If there's a block in your offhand, it'll place that before it tries its normal behavior. I think that would actually be a good improvement. Uh, let me know if I'm horribly wrong about that, but I think that would be good. So let's see, we need to build up this wall a little bit more here. Yep. <laughs> that, that's another problem. Well, I guess that's not a, a not a huge problem. Okay. And here is an opportunity to place a window. So I should place a window here. And I'm not actually sure how much... Like, should I go ahead and just cut back the hillside here and replace it with wood? I think I should. You know, once we get further in, I may actually switch to a stone-based material. I think that'd probably make a, a bit more sense. But for now, let's just put down some wood. And of course, we'll have to change those out. That's our window. I didn't bring any glass. Because I wasn't really planning to build anything fancy at first.
All right, there we go. Not looking too bad. Oh, so as always, this server is going to be private. I mean, I'm running this at home, and I'd rather not give out my, my IP address to random people. That, and uh, I'd only... I'd only like to have people that I, I really trust on here. That, and again, because it's just a, a normal computer, it may not have the, the greatest processing power ever. Okay, so there's actually <laughs> the wooden posts there. Let's actually extend this one down for now, just so I know where it is. Oh, that one's way far up. Oh, that is... Oh, yeah, I gotcha. I know what I'm doing. It's gonna be surprisingly easy to get mixed up. And in this case, I've actually dug out uh, a bit further back than I should have if I wanted to make this a perfect 9x9 nine nine exterior, 7x7 seven seven room. But I'm liking where this is going. This is good. Might even be able to have a second window here if I wanted to. Maybe dig this back a little bit. And... How did that... Oh. Yeah, I have to have some here to make that even. There we go. Could I have a window here as well? Well, there's dirt there. I could hollow that out and make that a window. Probably won't. So yeah, pri uh, private server, sorry about that. If you're curious about the mods being used, they are in the description as always, unless I forgot. I always, always put my mod list in the description. I usually don't include the dependencies, so you'll have to go hunt down the dependencies yourself if you're not using Curse. And uh, I, I do highly recommend the curse launcher if you're trying to build your own mod pack it's just so convenient being able to one click install and update not only that but it will take care of dependencies for you okay and i don't quite know what i want to do about the roof for now i may just um Put some slabs up there, and I can work out the details later. And let's go ahead and do this as well. Fill this in. Alright, and... Yeah, for now we'll just do something to make sure it's covered up. I can come back and mess around with this more on my own time. Okay, there we go, and a couple of torches up here. Alright, it's not bad. I, I may just... I may switch to a single door in the center. I'm not sure what I think about this. I, I'm talking about the door and I just enter the house through the window. <laughs> Typical. Okay, so I'm probably going to head back towards the area I was working in. For now, I've got quite a few things set up there. I've got a smeltery for ore doubling. Uh, I actually have Tinker's Construct installed. I know, you Tinkers, but uh, I wanted the smeltery and I didn't want to do the the smeltery mod because it also required substratum and I was like, eh, don't really need another ore adding mod in here. That and I was kind of thinking about, uh, this is going to sound really weird, adding cobalt and ardite parts to the extra parts mod. So you would be able to craft silenced gems tools from Tinker's Construct materials, which is a little bit weird, but it could work. <laughs> it could work. 
So this is kind of nice. It's a couple hundred blocks from spawn, so I could run over here in a couple minutes if I need to. Don't think Chaotic has been on here again. Uh, he, if you didn't guess from the last episode, Ark Survival Evolved is his game now. That's most of what he's played. I think he sunk a couple hundred hours into that game. I, I don't know how he does it. I I put a few dozen into it, and... I don't know, it, it was like I, I had to not play the game for a few days because of work and stuff, and... Then I come back and he's got guns and I was like, I don't even know how to make a bow. <laughs> oh, by the way, the sword, uh, the reason I'm using a vanilla sword is pitcher plant. <laughs> uh, I wonder if that does anything. Uh, last I checked, it did not. Nope, I don't know what it does, but it looks kind of cool. Okay, so the reason I'm using a vanilla iron sword, I found this in the roguelike dungeon. It's a tempered blade. Sharpness 1, unbreaking 3, mending. It's only, it only got basic from the levels mod. Uh, I've got it to level 4 and it's got frost and poison. Last level it uh, got a duplicate ability, which uh, seems to happen a lot on level 4, at least for the basic stuff. I assume higher tier stuff would be a bit luckier. See anything I need to harvest here? I could harvest the peanuts at least. Good job, axe. And might as well harvest the wheat while I'm here. It's lots of uses for wheat and bread. I hope Spice of Life doesn't uh, frustrate. Uh, anyone else in the server too much. I really like it. I know some people just despise that mod. I, I try to be kind of gentle with it. I changed it so that diminishing returns for one food don't start until after you've eaten 12. Initial diminishing returns don't start until after you've eaten 40 items, I think I set it to. So it's it's not really that bad. I mean, you could eat the same thing 12 times in a row, and then we got Harvest Craft, and it's got this ridiculous number of foods that you can make, and then we've got Cooking for Blockheads, which uh, adds some things that make cooking easier. Alright, so we're down in the roguelike dungeon now, and I've got another portal here. I actually built this using the lava and water bucket technique, where you basically just... Take a bucket of lava, place it, uh, turn it into obsidian with water, and repeat the process. I actually don't have a diamond level pick yet. I've not found diamonds. Uh, with extra parts, I think uh, Kachin, however you pronounce it. <laughs> uh, I, it should be Kachin. That just sounds so awesome. It has a harvest level of three although actually i think you need diamond level to mine that so never mind so i think the first level is all clear at this point it intersects with a uh, ravine here there's a cave system as well i believe so a lot to explore that this world has been pretty good in caves so far so what i've from what i've seen uh, that's one of my big complaints about the realistic terrain gen mod, is that caves are really hard to find. So I decided to go without it this time. Uh, probably in the future, I'll play with it again. Uh, I think it was my Season 5 world of 1.7. I played with realistic terrain gen. That was the one that also had the difficult life mod. <laughs> uh, that That season was probably my second favorite, right after Season 3. So if you're looking for something else to watch, uh, go check out one of my modded Minecraft 1.7 series. Uh, I recommend Season 3 and Season 5. Season 1 or 2 are really old. Uh, 4 was... It was okay. It, it was kind of an oddball. But uh, check those out if you haven't already and you're looking for something to watch. Oh, by the way, the actually additions food is super broken. I mean, 3.0 saturation. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. I think a steak is 0.8 at the most. But, uh, I'll, I'll make use of it. 
Oh, and if you're wondering about the furnaces, these are from Gemulation. They're kind of nice because they store their fuel and they operate at different speeds. They can store different amounts. They get more fuel from each piece as well. Like this one, I think it's about 13 items worth. No, 12. Maybe it's rounding. Yeah, it's rounding. So it's about 12 and a half for this one. I replaced the spiral staircase with a ladder. It's just a little bit easier to get in and out this way. And wow, it is dark out there. Yeah, I got the Hardcore Darkness mod as well. I've got it set so that on the surface it obeys the, the cycles of the moon. So, uh, like right now it's pretty dark because... Well, yeah, I think it's just almost completely pitch black because of the phase the moon is in, but... Uh, most nights it looks kind of normal. I don't have my shield equipped. <laughs> Even if I block, because my armor has molten on it, it will ignite the skeletons. Yeah, here's part of the ravine. You can see parts of the dungeon from there. So let's actually get rid of the darkness if I can. I got a bed up here just so I don't have to climb all the way back up the ladder. We can go down pretty easily. And yeah, I did notice the arrow in my hand. That it, that looks kind of painful. So smeltery here for early game ore doubling. Oh, I made brass by mistake. Two blocks of it. I don't even have any use for that. That's a little bit unfortunate, to say the least. Yeah, I don't think there's really any use for brass. I mean, it's a tool material, but it's kind of garbage. I am glad that was a concussion creeper. Oh. Yeah, the mixed metal ingots can use brass. I think that, yeah, they can use like a variety of different materials, and some are better than others. Tech Reborn's probably going to be a little bit broken with Fun Wars installed. <laughs> yeah, well, this is, this is highly experimental. So, let's see, I could improve the, the farm space here. That'd, that'd be something I could do. Uh, who are you? T-Fox? Got like an FTV logo on your shirt. Get out of here. Alright, well, I could try to take on a bit of the dungeon, I suppose. Only bad thing is my armor's not very good right now. Yeah, okay, might as well try to do a little bit of the dungeon. Looks like my helmet's getting pretty close to dead here. That's unfortunate. I'd love to make some, some of the new armor from gems right now, but for some reason I thought it was a good idea to put lapis in the recipe for the armored lattice. And I'm regretting that, but I'm not really sure what, what that middle part should be if, uh... Let me just show the recipe for the lattices. So we got three different tiers. Mundane requires leather and flint. And then the lapis in the middle. Iron kind of follows a similar pattern. Iron ingots and gem shards of any kind. And then lapis again. And the super tier requires diamonds and enriched chaos essence, so pretty expensive. At that point, I think lapis would be the least of your worries, but I still haven't found any of that stuff. Uh, definitely need to change at least some of those to use something other than lapis. So I guess I could try just going through the, the dungeon normally. Pretty sure there's unexplored regions around here somewhere. Well, the uh, unbroken iron bars are a pretty big indicator that I've not... Well, i kind of been this way. Oh, I heard a witch. So, do I want to go down further, or...? Continue exploring here a little bit. Let's explore here some more. Because I am scared.
Kind of curious uh, what's down here at least. Creeper ore. Okay, I don't really need any gunpowder at the moment. A little bit more coal can never hurt. Yeah, I may have to recruit some help with the lower levels of this dungeon. Might be too much for me unless I find some really good stuff. The new armor from Gems will definitely help when I get it because you can break the normal protection limit of armor and exceed the 80% damage reduction. You can't become entirely invincible. I've uh, made sure that's not possible, at least I think I have. But, uh, that looks suspicious. Ah. Oh, <laughs> I remember this room. Oh, that, that is a lot of emeralds. That's a lot of emeralds. Uh, the B-team hideout. <laughs> stall? Oh, Stall is... Pink sweater. It's Chinese red. <laughs> nice reference. And it gave me basic. Okay. Shovel. Dig job. Efficiency 5. Unbreaking 3. Recovered from Hell's Blazes. <laughs> All the references. I love it. Uh, how fast is that shovel? Ba base harvest speed of 8 for diamond. This one is 6. That's a pretty good shovel. I will take it. Okay, I, I, I kind of hate to... Oh, and there's a brewing stand too. Oh man, kind of hate to break all these diamond blocks, but... <laughs> I'm taking them with me. I'm putting emerald tips on all my stuff. And nobody's going to stop me. Alright, so that was that was a lucky find. I, I almost just went right by that. Oh, uh, we can see all the way down to the last level of the dungeon here. I kind of want to just jump down into there, but the hardcore darkness makes uh, caving a bit more difficult because you can't really see that far. It's, it's like you don't know what you're getting into. And in case you didn't notice, I kind of like my Minecraft being a little bit tougher. Let's see, I'll just go and put that brewing stand there. Is there like anything I can really do with that at this point? I don't even have any nether wart. Uh, the nether spawn I got is pretty garbage. I'm going to have to find some way to get down from the little cliff it spawned me on. I managed to get a few gems from the nether, however. Got spindle, golden barrel, moldavite, malachite, blue topaz, and ametrine and alexandrite. Still, I am going to make emerald tips at least for my my axe and my pickaxe. Can't put them on vanilla tools, unfortunately. So the sword and dig job. I won't be able to upgrade. Alright, let's see. The, these are the upgrade bases. And just need two of the emeralds for now. Let's go ahead and do this. So, emerald tipped upgrades will raise the harvest level to two if it's lower. That is one level below a diamond pickaxe. Just so you know. So, it's the same level as iron. But it raises the durability by a massive 1,024 points, gives you a nice harvest speed boost, a nice boost to attack speed, melee damage, and a very nice boost to magic damage. Magic attacks are something we do not have access to at this point, though. 
So ruby bronze axe upgraded to emerald tipped. And I also added to the tooltip who originally constructed the tool. It's been saving that for a while, maybe not correctly, but it has been saving the name of the of the last player that modified it, at least. Uh, currently, it will save the original creator. So that'll raise its durability from 541 to 1565. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's right. So that's about the same as diamond. Harvest speed goes from 7.17 to 9.17. Okay, so my pickaxe currently has 17, 714 durability. That's with the 128 boost from the iron tips. And the emerald tips will take it up to 1482. Base harvest speed of 9.52. Not bad. So let's see. Uh, I don't know. I've almost got uh, 30 XP levels, so it'd be nice if I could find an enchanting table, but then again, I would also need Lapis. Darn you, Lapis. But I've actually been recording for about 30 minutes here, so I'm going to go ahead and call this here. Might go ahead and record another episode, do some more of this dungeon. Uh, I know, may not be the most exciting stuff in the world, but... Uh, why not? If I'm in a good mood, I might as well. You know, I I might just do some of this dungeon on my own. Uh, I think I'll stay away from the final level of this dungeon for now. Uh, first of all, I think I would get totally wrecked. Second of all, I think that'd make a, a good uh, collab video. Get some other people in here. So, thanks for watching, and... Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter if you want all the latest news and updates about my mods and so on and so forth. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, that's an option if you want to. There's also the like button and the dislike button, which you, you could press one of those if you were so inclined. If not, it's all cool. Whatever you want to do with your life. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.